I am a runner, and so a lot of my spare time, like I ran, and I loved it. However, my first month of school, I broke my toe, had a hairline fracture along my foot, so I wasn't able to run. So I was at first overwhelmed, wasn't sure really what to do. So then I started doing workout videos. <laughs> so I would honestly say whatever you are already passionate about, whatever your lifestyle is, whatever your routines are, keep those. There's no reason not to. Try to incorporate it into your life because that will keep you happy, healthy. I coached the Pee Wee hockey team for Deer Lake. So a lot of my time was spent fundraising, um, coaching practices, uh, getting the kids ready for when we'd leave for a tournament. It's called Little Bands. Um, I would also get out on the land a lot. So I would do things like trapping, fishing. Um, I would tan hides, all these things, right? And I would get information from the community and then I would hang out just with members of the community, right? Go over for dinner, have them over for dinner. It was, I don't know, it just felt like home. Volleyball is definitely a big, a big thing for me. Um, uh, that's how I met a lot of community members, even some of the parents of some of the kids in my class. Uh, so that getting involved in that was was really fun for me. Um, probably I was probably one of the only teachers that that there were a few, but not not very often. But I was pretty consistent, so I met a lot of people that way. Um, I also. Once I met a few more for more people in the community, just getting out on a boat, going fishing, um, even just going for a walk and, and being, being visible. Uh, I go to the gym. Uh, I uh, practice French. We're very fortunate to have a good internet connection, so I have French tutors online who I practice with because I, uh, I speak French to a relatively decent degree and I really wanted to make sure I, I kept up with that. Um, I also enjoy cooking, so I bake and cook myself meals. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to be able to take care of dogs that are, are in the community. So I set up a little foster centre, Mr. Johnson's School for, for Wayward Pups. Uh, so yeah, I, have, uh, I find that outside of school I have a very fulfilling uh, timetable. I'm never like wondering what I, you know, I'm never bored, let's put it that way. I have not a lot of spare time in Sandy Lake, but I frequently go cross country skiing and watch lots of Netflix because that's an excellent thing to do, de-stressing after a crazy day of teaching, but um, a lot of eating drinking tea, resting, lots of outdoor stuff, but I mean, you can't always be outside when it's negative 40, so just the usual things. Um, our school has a couple of boats, so we were, the teachers and the principal and the bus driver who is a community member, we would go out on the lake and we would go fishing. We would take two boats, sometimes three boats, depending how many people were coming. Sometimes students would come with us, um, so that was fun. In the winter time, there's, um, I brought my, my uh, cross-country skis and my snowshoes. The school has snowshoes too, so um, I was able to use those if I had to, and snowshoeing was great. Um, I I did go on the skidoo for my first time this year and we went ice fishing. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do outside when the weather wasn't, you know, agreeable to be outside. Um, inside I brought my hobbies. I like to knit, um, I brought up a puzzle, I like to do puzzles. The teachers would get together regularly at least once a week and we would have um, board games or just chill nights. and. You know, it was, there was always something to do. I was never sitting there saying, okay, I'm bored, never. That never happened. 